Hi everyone! When we talk about cephalopods, we usually say tentacles to indicate their appendages. However, that's not totally correct. In fact, they can have arms, tentacles, or both of them. But what's the difference? Before we start, take a moment to subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo. Done? Then, let's go! Arms and tentacles could appear the same thing, but they actually have different morphology and functions. Arms are long appendages equipped with one or two series of suckers spreading through the entire length. Their function is mainly prehensile and deambulatory, even though suckers have chemical receptors. In cephalopods with eight arms, we can find a sort of limb specialization. It is said that two arms are used to work on the seafloor and the other six to forage for food. In addition, a modified arm called ectocotylus is used by males to transfer the spermatophore to the female's ovidot. On the other hand, tentacles can be longer than arms and possess suckers just on their extremity, usually larger than the appendage itself. Their function is tactile sensory, they can grab prey while the arms direct them to the mouth. Occasionally, these appendages can be hidden in specific pouches. To give you some practical examples, octopuses have 8 arms and no tentacles. Squids and cuttlefish have 8 arms and 2 long tentacles, while the nautilus possesses the tune of 90 short tentacles without suckers. If you have arms or tentacles too, just use one of them to leave a thumbs up. And if you're interested in cephalopods, don't miss our documentary about octopuses, love and death, an octopus story on our channel, right here. Click on our logo and subscribe. You will see how special their arms are and how many things they can do with them. See you in our next videos. Bye!